Hey everyone, how are you? It's Marla. I received this entire skincare package from actually watching another YouTuber, but I will explain that later in this video. This product review is going to be on the skincare line from Japan called Fancool. Fancool is the number one preservative free skincare line in Japan. Their products are all dated, and some of the products are hermetically sealed in vials. There's no fragrance fragrances, no preservatives, no petroleum products, and no artificial colors. It's good for all skin types. I'm going to give you a demonstration of these products, kind of tell you my thoughts about them. Some of them I absolutely love, and some of them I wouldn't necessarily purchase myself, but I'll explain that later. So let's get started. Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's Marla, I think you know that already. I already kind of gave a description of the products from this Japanese skincare company called, I believe, Fancool, I think that's how you pronounce it. How did I come upon getting these products? Well, they were not sent to me via PR, they were not sent to me to do a review on, on my YouTube channel. What happened was I happened to be watching one of my quirky favorite YouTubers, her name is Monique, I will list her review of these products in my description box below. She had on her channel at the time, or it was a couple videos after that, she had a link to this company that was for them to kind of do informational surveys with people. And if you fit into the group that they wanted to send products out to, you would receive the products. So I happened to fill out the survey. I think the questions that they ask in the survey were things like, I mean, you have wrinkles, what kind of creams do you use? They have no idea that they sent this to someone that does YouTube videos. So I'm not considering this really PR or anything like that because it was not sent to me in exchange for any kind of review or anything like that. So I was lucky enough to be sent this whole line of products and I got their mild cleansing oil which is something that I really like, and I'll demonstrate how it takes off all my makeup. I also received their facial washing powder, which I also really like a lot. And I already described kind of what these products do in the intro. They also have an aging care washing cream, which I also like. You can use this, the aging care washing cream, or the facial powder, whichever one you like better. I kind of like both of them. The only thing about this aging care washing washing cream is, is if I get it near my eyes, it burns my eyes. It's the only thing I don't quite like about it, but I still like the consistency and the feel of it on my face. And then I also received their active conditioning lotion with the active conditioning emulsion. I'll show you how these go on and I'll give you my impressions of all of these. As I said, three of them I'm really kind of head over heels in love with. The other two I could kind of take or leave. I just didn't care for the way it felt to my face. The one thing I did want to mention is my esthetician. I know I love skincare and I'm always showing skincare. I love Japanese skincare. But if you are a true minimalist and you want to go with what a plastic surgeon and an esthetician believe are the things you only need, things you only need on your face. My plastic surgeon says the only three things that you need on your face are a good sunscreen, which I have, number two, a vitamin C lotion, and number three, they're big fans of Retin-A. And then periodically on kind of like a quarterly basis or maybe for three months or six weeks, bringing in a hydroquinone into the mix and then phasing the hydroquinone out again and then bringing it in and bringing it out. They don't like to continually use hydroquinone products because they say they're suppressors and they just only want them to be used kind of on a periodic basis rather than on a continuous basis. I am not a big fan of hydroquinone. I know they're probably safe in the amount that most people are given them by prescription or by their doctors, but I'm just not a fan of hydroquinone. So I just don't really want to put hydroquinone on my face. I would prefer to go to my esthetician every quarter, get an IPL, just have it at that, and then just walk away and not um, be putting you know anything else on but what I'm getting at is I love lotions whether or not they're doing what they're supposed to be doing for me or not sometimes I really don't care I just love the 
feel of putting on hydrating lotions. I just love the feel of touching lotions and skincare. So whether or not my doctor thinks I only need three things or not, you know, I'm still probably going to be going down the skincare aisle at my local Sephora and testing out products. It's just the way it is. But anyway, okay, I have some makeup on right now and I'm going to show you how I take off my makeup. It's kind of the end of the day. It looks really crappy right now, but I'm going to use this facial cleansing oil. And I like this because when it comes out, it doesn't feel oily. I have my DHC cleansing oil and and that does feel a little bit oilier than this one. This one feels almost more serum-y slash oily. Let's put it that way. So what do I like about this? I like taking my eyebrow off. It takes my eyebrow off. It takes my makeup off really well. What I like about this is I can wiggle this in to my lash line and it doesn't burn my eyes, but it gets all that fiber mascara off. Off, and then I'm going to go in with a warm washcloth. And the oil is mainly, from my understanding, just to get mainly off your eye makeup. Now, if you see my eye, really, I would say most of my eye makeup has been removed. The only thing is maybe there may be one little bit left under my eye, which I'm going to get right now all my fiber mascara off and it really did a nice job of getting that off. I'll do the other side really quickly. Out of all the products that I was given, I would say this is probably my favorite of all of them. They have no scent, which is nice. And it really does, I would say, get most of it off. The only thing is, is I may have just a touch left, just at the roots kind of right there. And what I do is I go in just with one more little pump. But what's nice is I can wiggle this all into my lash line. It really almost conditions my eyelashes. It makes them nice and soft. And then, I got my eye makeup off. That was my eye makeup. I love that oil. This oil is something I would buy myself. I love it. Now there's, there's a toss up here between the aging washing cream. The aging washing cream, when it comes out, reminds me, oh, no scent, it reminds me a lot of my Checks and Balances by Origins. It has kind of the same consistency and feel to it. And you can see how really rich and thick this is. Now, right now it's super dry because I'm putting it on a dry face, which I would normally not do. But this is one of the options for washing your face. So you could either use this, and this is nice, the consistency. I like really thick, rich creams for washing my face. So it would be a lot nicer if I was sitting in front of my sink and I could lather this up. But because I'm sitting in front of my vanity trying to show you this, very gentle cleanser for your face. I didn't do my forehead because I'm going to the bath. I'm never really going to the bathroom and actually wash my face with water and do it the right way. But I wanted to kind of show you that. Now the washing cream, which I also like, and I am going to take you into the bathroom for that. So follow me and I will show you one other thing I like. Then Cool sent me this net, this little net gadget. And this is what you use with the cleansing powder. And what you do is you turn this inside out and I'm gonna to try to do it with one hand. Let's see if I can do it. Yes, I am doing it. And you see this little tiny cup. I'm gonna fill it with the cleansing powder. Alrighty, it is now filled with the cleansing powder and now I'm gonna put it inside out again, just the way it was when I originally showed it to you. So hold on a minute. Okay, the cleansing powder is in that little cup at the base there, and I'm gonna turn on my sink, and I'm gonna get this netting wet, and then I'm just gonna start, and it's hard to do with one hand, but I'm gonna start mixing this around and trying to lather it up, and you will build up a lather. Okay, and then what you do is you just squeeze this lather out onto your hand. And I'm gonna to have to drop the phone to do that, so hold on a minute. 
So you can see I'm kind of squeezing all this lather out of what I created and I'm left with, when I do that, this, which I am going to wash my face with. It's very soft, very gentle, and um, I really like it. This is really a very cool <laughs> little way of getting this to froth up. I kind of like that idea. So I'm gonna wash my face and I will be right back. So I cleaned my face with the powder. It does feel really good, nice and smooth, not tight. The only thing is, is with both the powder and the aging washing cream, I have noticed that if I get these near my eyes, they burn my eyes. That is the only kind of complaint I have that I didn't see anybody else mention, but for me, they burn my eyes when they get close to them. Okay, now the next thing you are supposed to put on your face I believe is this conditioning lotion and this is these are all preservative free and they all have dates on them for expiration this is supposed to I believe moisturize your skin so I'm going to put this on my face and this is what it looks like it comes in this hermetically sealed little container and you're really supposed to pat I'm not a patter. You really are supposed to pat this into your skin, not really rub it into your skin, and not use any type of cotton ball or anything like that because the product will be absorbed up into the cotton ball and you'll lose a lot of product. Okay, so I have that on my skin and right now it's still, it's still tacky, it has not kind of gotten absorbed into my skin where it feels just completely smooth. I can still feel stickiness on my face. This probably would not be something I would purchase. I love the other products, but I don't know. I just, this doesn't, just doesn't bite me for some reason. Just something about it. Just, there's just something that I just don't, not that I don't really like it. It's just that I don't like it enough to buy it. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So that was the lotion. And then they also have the conditioning emulsion which looks very milky. And this, I believe, has collagen in it. And again, this one also feels tacky on me. And I just, I just noticed when I was putting this on this week and testing these out that the tackiness lasted longer than I would have liked. I have a lot of very hydrating moisturizers that I put into my skin or I rub on my face and they're instantly absorbed in my skin. Whereas this has kind of that lingering tackiness for a while, which for me is not something I particularly care for, but for someone else, they may not even phase them. It may not even bother them. That was the Fancool Active Conditioning Emulsion. And again, as I've said, the emulsion has the collagen in it. So it's supposed to help with your skin's elasticity, but I don't know. I mean, it feels good. Maybe if I use it long enough, the stickiness will grow on me, but because it makes my skin soft and feel soft, it's just that I have problems with tacky. I don't know, it just bothers me. But again, I really want to thank Fancool so much for allowing me to test out this product. This whole skincare line, they were so generous. They sent these out to I don't know how many people that signed up to take kind of their informational survey. I was so thankful when I got this in the mail. It was kind of like a big surprise. The products I'm definitely gonna be purchasing are their cleansing oil. This has been one of the really best cleansing oils I've tried in a long time. And it's gonna be a toss up between their aging washing cream and the powder which I have in the bath my bathroom right now I think I may end up with the washing cream just for the fact that the powder while it was fun mixing it up in that little netting I just feel like I'm going to use a lot of or waste a lot of the product by doing it that way versus just pumping a small amount out of a tube I want to thank Monique for having this link on her channel she did a review on these products products also. And again, I will post her video in my description box. But this is kind of how I felt about them. I just wanted to make you aware of this company. And because they are preservative free, I thought it would be a great product for my sensitive skin subscribers. That's it for today. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care. Bye-bye from Marla.